Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, as always, just in case you aren't familiar, if, you, if you've stumbled upon this video in the wild, I do a project here, a 3D modeling project called Wind Waker Unflooded, where I'm creating the entire land of Hyrule in the art style of the Wind Waker. You know, as always, if you played Wind Waker, you know that you get to explore a small portion of Hyrule, but you also know that the, all the islands of the Great Sea are the mountaintops of Hyrule. So using those islands as mountaintops, I want to create this whole world that we never got to see in the game. So that's, that's the spiel. That's the spiel. I'm working on it. I got it within 30 seconds. You know, I'm working on it. But uh, yeah, today we're modeling the South Lome Labyrinth in the Gerudo region uh, from Breath of the Wild. And we're putting that within the world of the Wind Waker. Um, it, as always, it's definitely like I'm trying to figure out where to put certain things. And, and I, you know, Breath of the Wild added so much and... You know, I, especially in the Gerudo region, that's something that has had some like really good landmarks before, but I feel like it, it like it's the culmination of all the games that really add to the Gerudo region, which is something I'm looking forward to. Like right now I have Gerudo Town and I have this Lomay Labyrinth, but I want to add, um, we also have like the Arbiter's Grounds. I'm working on that right now. That'll be cool. Um, but I also want to add in the uh, Desert Colossus, the, uh, in front of the spirit temple in ocarina of time it's a really dramatic statue and of course breath of the wild also has the the six statues right um that are all facing each other there, there's so much in the gerudo desert now um which is cool i i, I think that's just cool because in a single game sometimes you explore the desert and there's not there's not much to see in any single experience but that's the cool thing about doing a project like this like wind waker unflooded is i am borrowing from multiple games and it, it, I, I, that's something that kind of excites me is that like I'm allowing myself to say like I can use elements from multiple games and they're all going to be compiled into a single world um, which I think is cool and that's something that you know like I love the world map of Breath of the Wild um, but I think it's also cool to say like here's a Hyrule where you can you can recognize landmarks from Breath of the Wild but you can also recognize landmarks from the islands of the Wind Waker um, cities for Macarena Time, you'll go, oh yeah, that's Kakariko, Kakariko Village, and it's right under Windfall, you know? I, I love that feeling of putting it all together, and I feel like that's really cool. Um, and like, you see that a little bit in Breath of the Wild. There's locations you can recognize and see the ruins of Lon Lon Ranch, um, and kind of see Lake Hylia and see that some things are the same, but some things are different. You know, there's, there's still some of that, but uh, I think it's also cool to be, like, very intentional about referencing past games and, and putting it all together that's what excites me about this project um and i think it's cool <laughs> i've talked before in videos i know that like sometimes it gets kind of controversial about like this is a wind waker map and the point is extrapolating from the islands to create hyrule in the world of the wind waker which was so so is it appropriate to use locations from games that you know whether it's the timeline or even just the uh, like the timeline of, in the games or the timeline of release order does it make sense to use locations from other games that were released afterward or created afterward um because wind waker takes place ac after ocarina of time so should i only be using locations from ocarina of time and i just think like the timeline's getting confusing enough that um i don't i don't want to worry about that like as as I, i've said it before like from a lore standpoint this is hyrule in between the events of ocarina of time and wind waker that is the lore foundation for this project for sure um but i also think like i want to be lenient with myself about the locations i can allow and i've talked about that before so i don't want to i don't want to spend time on that i do want to read some comments though um because i've gotten some i i always love when y'all comment and i want to encourage that um because that's that's just it, it it motivates me to keep working on it and i, I i'm so passionate about the zelda series and I'm passionate about Wind Waker, and I'm so curious to, to see what Hyrule would look like in that art style. And I love seeing the, that y'all feel the same way, you know? Because uh, that's that's what's encouraging to me, is that, like, this is a passion project for me, but it seems like it's also a passion project for y'all that y'all get to see. Um, and, and that's just so encouraging. So I want to, you know, just, I, I, I want to ask that, y <laughs> if I can ask for anything, is that y'all continue to comment, because that really inspires me. And, and feel free to comment what it, whether I, you know, ideas that you have or any suggestions that you have. You know, I'm all ears and feel free to uh, comment criticisms. You know, it doesn't all have to be nice. 
Uh, some of my favorite comments are ones that kind of challenge me, you know. Um, that's just my take. But I do want to read some some comments and respond to them. Some of them I've already replied to um, on the video, but I, I, there's some stuff I want to talk about. Um, you know, it, it's it's here, here's one that's this is for me. This was from two days ago. This is from Link the Hero Wins. Thanks for commenting, Link. Uh, Link says, I'm really glad this popped up in my recommended. Wind Waker was a huge part of my childhood, and I've I've also wondered what Unflooded Hyrule would look like. Definitely following this. That's encouraging, because I, I love that this is popping up in y'all's recommended. It seems like, as far as the YouTube algorithm goes, it seems like it's been fairly nice to this project. Um, and we still have a lot of growing to do. We're working on that. We're building a community here, and there's still work to do. But I love seeing that... Um, it, it seems like these videos do really attract new viewers, and, I, and I'm, I'm so happy to see new people, um, you know, discovering the channel and discovering the project, because I want to be able to share this with the whole Zelda community. That's something that kind of scared me at first. I, there was probably about a year where I was working on this model, on this project, but I wasn't promoting it on social media. I wasn't trying to show people it, because it, 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 there wasn't much to show, and it was incomplete, and, you know, I was also scared... And, and I was thinking about for a while, I was like, how do I even present this to people? You know, am I going to have to find like the Zelda forums and go, hey, like, here's my new project. Do, am I going to have to comment on every Zelda YouTubers videos and comment? Hey, do y'all want to see this project? And I could do more of that, but, but I definitely count myself lucky that I can just release it onto the Internet. And it seems like it, it finds the Zelda community on its own. And that's been that's been really nice. Um because that's something that kind of intimidated me. I was like, I want to get it out there and I want to get it in front of people that care. But definitely, like, where are those spaces? And, and, I, and I think YouTube does a lot for being able to recommend it to Zelda fans. So, yeah. Uh, and here's here's another encouraging comment. Um, I'm not singling out just the positive comments, but I want to read this one. So this says, The progress you're making in this project is amazing. I've worked on my own Zelda projects in the past, and I know that after a while it can seem like motivation can slow down. So I hope you know that there are people who love both these games and what you've achieved so far. It's super impressive that you've taken the curiosity many of us have while playing Wind Waker and actually worked it into a project as amazing as this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you know, amazing. Oh. Personally, I've always loved to imagine that area is hidden from view in Zelda games, so I can really appreciate the effort you're putting into this project. Please do keep up the good work, because even if this is just a model in the end, it's still a work of art that can inspire others to do the same with other games in the future. I'd love to kind of like jumpstart a movement of, of more people doing projects like this. But I, I really appreciate that comment and I wanted to read it because it, it feels nice to read good things. But I also wanted to respond to it. I did reply and I said, oh, thanks for the comment. There are definitely times where I get more or less done and progress seems slow. But hey, even if this project takes a couple more years before I feel like it's done, the time will pass anyway. I might as well get something done. Again, thank you for your words, really inspiring. That's what I said. But I, I, I just want to single this out just because it's it's really inspiring to, to read words like that and, and just see that, like, it, it just, I guess, like, what I was, was what I was talking about, that, like, I think so many people that played Wind Waker felt just so naturally curious. The, the game rewards exploration, but there's one world that you can't explore. You can't explore Hyrule in that game. And so I, I really want to use this project as a way of just kind of finally, finally get going there and finally saying you can this place that you've always wanted to see let's fully realize it in, in the way that we've always wanted to imagine that's my goal and, and i really hope that, that that's something that that y'all feel and, and and sometimes i look at my work and i'm not the most talented modeler and i'm like this is a little low poly but you know it, i want to keep getting better and I, I feel like i've learned so much as a 3d modeler by getting this done um and, it, I, you know, at the very least, it's led by passion, and, and that pushes me to want to do a better job each time I work on this project. So I am going to wrap up the video, I think, because um, we're, we're getting to the end of the time lapse. Um, this isn't like a... There, there weren't like a whole lot of creative decisions to make, so I, I didn't do much commentating about the actual work getting done, but hope y'all have enjoyed watching it. Um, if you want to support me, I have links to my Patreon and my Coffee page in the About section of my YouTube page. Um, you can also support me by streaming my music on Spotify. Uh, look up Joe Kendrick. Any of the background music you've heard in this video was uh, was my music, and you can listen to it on Spotify or anywhere you listen to music. It's all there. Subscribe to my main channel, and if you're interested in any of my filmmaking stuff, um, I post all about that there. So thank you so much for watching. I'll let y'all go.